Gwen's relationship with Anna is typical of a love triangle, so to speak. True love is very aggressive. I don't mean physically, I mean it's a very powerful force such that when you love someone, you can lose empathy for other people around you. And that's all that happens. Everybody else gets shut off as soon as he sees Isabel walk in, and that's it. Anna is gone, doesn't exist. It's just a horse with blinders. And she's tapping on the door and he's just like, I don't even know who you are. I'm sorry, but this is my first true love. This is my soulmate. You've got no idea what you've done. I don't blame her at all for how she sells him out because perhaps that's what he truly deserves. Perhaps some people need to fall that far and need to be reminded that hurting a person is not without consequence. Did Quinn hold a grudge against Isabel? Initially, I think he probably did for at least a couple of years, I would say. And then I think surviving an apocalyptic event probably gave him a little sense of clarity and some circumstantial reflection where he decided, actually, I had it really good back then. And look what I did. See what I left for you. It's not for me. You're just being contrary. That's the romantic in him. He loves Izzy so much and knows her so well that it's quite sweet and also very foolish of him to think that a step-by-step -step move is the way to win this person back. You see that behavior in people sometimes and it's quite worrying that they don't understand that there are effects outside of gesture, that there is subtlety to relationships. The way they think the world unfolds is deterministic in the sense that they can do whatever they want and then they can be forgiven and let's try again. It doesn't work that way. 